I only talked to Jack a couple of times, and I only met him once, um, but I've been reading his comics my whole life. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it used to be uh, Marvel back in the 1970s, around the time I started reading comics, had Fantastic Four coming out, and it was by various creators, and they also had a series called Marvel's Greatest Comics, which was reprints of the old Lee Kirby Fantastic Four. And I didn't get the idea of credits or reprints yet. I was just kind of figuring it out. And I actually spent time thinking about, how do they know to put the greatest comics in this book? <laughs> because they're, they're better than the stuff that's in the Fantastic Four book. What have, you know, if something really great comes in for Fantastic Four, do they go, no, no, we better put it over in the, you know, and then later I figured out, oh, right, this is reprints and it, this is just Jack Kirby and Kirby is always great. Okay. Um, uh, but, uh, but Kirby, uh, the first time I talked to him, I was working on uh, a series called Teen Agents for Tops that was based on one of his ideas. Uh, and he gave me some writing advice. He said, uh, it doesn't matter how weird or far out you get as long as your characters react the way real people would react, the audience will follow you anywhere. And clearly that's true of Kirby's career, that, uh, that he, he, uh, he used that rule over and over and over. And I've applied it in different ways, but I thought it was a very, uh, uh, a very key piece of, uh, of, of, of writing advice.